this edition of the news! Brand new Black Series packaging for the Bad Batch. It looks like it's got its own colour now. We may have seen a rumour featuring the Archive Wave 2 for 2021. Who are those figures? Tune in to find out. My first in-hand look at the new Ahsoka from the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian Loyalist figures, as well as this all the way from Mexico. What could it be? Ooh. Stay tuned to find out. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television, your home of action figure news. This is another day, another video, and exciting stuff to wake up to. What's this? Another packaging color that we got for the Black Series. You've seen in the past blues, reds, yellows, greens. Now there's a Bad Batch color. Now, the strange thing about this is, I put this picture up. Look at this yellow. Ta-da! And I assumed, because I'm naive, <laughs> and gullible, and all the rest of those things, that the Bad Batch figures, they're listed for sale for pre-order everywhere as The Clone Wars, Bad Batch figure, Hunter, Bad Batch figure, Crosshair. So therefore, I'm thinking it will be in the Clone Wars box. So let's put the image up again and put Hunter on the back there with his new color. Eh, not to be. So there is Hunter in the new packaging. It is a darker red, a burgundy, if you will. Very, very dark compared to the Attack of the Clones colors, which is that blood red as well. I asked Jackface, is this going to be number one and a new mural? Obviously, they're going to have a new mural because it doesn't match up to this one, but he may not be number one. Number one may be Wrecker, which is the deluxe one coming out. It might be first, so I might get number one, kind of like Zeb was for the Rebels. Number one, big chunky one first, and then the rest followed suit. My thoughts on this is yet another mural to collect. Uh, if you are going to be a fan of the Bad Batch, there is a series coming out. If you didn't know already, it'll be announced very soon, like officially a launch date and all that sort of thing, and some figures on the way. So there's five in the Bad Batch, so the show might show background characters, new characters, and build up the set from there. So within the space of, say, five years, you could have 15 figures in the set. Who knows? Anyway. Looks pretty decent. I believe it's coming out in, I want to say, April of 2021. We will see this figure. Next up is uh, a rumor that Yakface put on his Instagram of these characters. Huh? Who is this? What? <laughs> and everyone was like scratching their head. I believe that is the second wave of the Archive collection for 2021, which consists of the following characters. Be the ATACT driver, a target exclusive from 2017, a Death Trooper from Rogue One, a Sand Person from A New Hope, or Tusken Raider if you like, and the Scarif Trooper or Shore Trooper from Rogue One. What Wave 1 is, and it's confirmed from last year, and these are images from the front and back from Grand Admiral Thrawn, Clone Commander Cody who won the vote, Luke Skywalker Hoth, and Han Solo Hoth. So that's the Wave 1, and the Wave 2 looks to be these new ones that are said to be rumoured thanks to Yakface.com's Instagram page. Awesome. Also, uh, I got my first look at the new, or well, two of the new, Walmart exclusive Clone Wars figures. That is a Sokotano. Lovely, lovely. And Mandalorian Loyalist. Very nice figures in hand, I must admit. I, I took photos of the front and back just so everyone could have a good look at the pictures. And these don't belong to me. These are a friend of mine, so I got a little in-hand look to share with you guys. So thank you very much for that. And last but not least, well, it's going to be a quick video today, so that that's good. Been giving you some very long, lengthy videos, so a nice little quick one. Um, this is, let's turn around, Twin Sons Customs Official on Instagram, making some nice, rare pieces. I already have been gifted this fantastic figure here from him, a one of one. Ooh, nice and rare. My own version, me as Han Solo, who's living on Karelia. Let's put that there. And now, because I love what they do, I have brought myself one of the new customs that has been 
like on the website for a while. And where do you see it? Oh, I'm excited. I know what this is because I bought it. <laughs> if I was going to wait for Hasbro to do this figure, I would be waiting years. I won't say it until you actually get to see it. I'll get to see it the first time as you guys, so here we go. Oh, by the way, it's from Mexico. They're all Mexican stamps on the back. All the stamps are in pesos. Here we go. Oh, look! <laughs> Twin sons. Excellent. Oh, I can see it through the packaging. <laughs> I'm hyped. I, uh, I'm hyped. 11 minutes later. A little edit there because I wanted to rip this open or unpack this carefully. Don't rip it open like a madman when you buy your custom stuff. There is only 15 in the world. First issue variant. Thank you very much. Oh my god! Look at this. Slave Leia. Or as it says in there, Princess Leia. Hot Slayer. Let's get him for a really good shot. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I asked if I could have the white version of the card back instead of the black. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. You guys have absolutely nailed it. Oh, we're going to show the back as well, don't I? Look at this. Woo! As I said, one of 15 in the world. Twin Sons Customs. Thank you very much. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Straight in a star case. If you want something custom made like this, go and follow the name on the screen, Twin Sons Customs Official, and they will be able to, you can even recommend, can you make me this, can you make me that, and they may even do it. Have a look what they've got available at the moment. Some great stuff. Wow. I'm so impressed. This. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, having to wait until Hasbro do this, I could be waiting years. So now I've got one on an absolutely beautiful card back. This has been a quick little episode. Thank you very much for watching today. As always, as I speak on the screen, you'll see all the stuff to help out the channel. Awesome, awesome stuff. And if you want to send some fan mail, it is P.O. Box 957, Lismore, New South Wales, 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.